Okay, so this is this is going to be the last one, I think. Um, I completely forgot that I promised I would do my vegan sushi. So we, <laughs> this is what I'm going to do today. Vegan sushi. I've got two, well, one in sort of more than three quarter cups, but I've literally finished the last of my sushi rice. So I wasn't going to leave a little bit. So it's one in almost two, two cups of, of sushi rice and almost three cups of water. So you'd have two cups of sushi rice to three cups of water. It's had a really good soak. Um, and now I've just added the, the clean water and now I'm going to cook it. Uh, simmer it for about 10 minutes or so. And then I'm going to do the vinegar and all of that sort of stuff. So we'll get that on. Meantime, I'm going to prep. Um, I've got some mushrooms which I'm going to um, do with uh, carrot, cucumber and avo. And then I've got tofu, which I will then prepare as well. So I'll crack on with the prep and then we'll come to all of that nitty gritty stuff. Okay, so this is the prepping for um, the tofu. I've got corn flour. So the best thing that you can do to make crispy tofu is to dredge it in corn flour first. And I've got very firm tofu here. So I'm not going to press it or anything. I'm just going to cut it into strips like this, which is kind of perfect for the sushi. And then I'm going to put it into the corn flour. And I've put a little bit of salt in here as well. Okay, I'm going to do a few more pieces because obviously I'm going to need them. And then I'm going to melt some coconut oil and then I'm going to fry it. Then I'm going to make a little marinade um, and then once it's fried with a nice crust on it, I put it into that marinade and it soaks up because you know tofu is as bland as all get out. So it, it's delicious this little marinade that has got uh, sesame oil. Um, if you've got ponzu dressing use that um, or lime juice or lemon juice and soy sauce and I'm going to use a mushroom soy. Okay, so a good squirt of lemon, this is mushroom soy, and I've got another bottle, I use this a lot. And my very favourite thing in life, sesame oil. So that is going to go... This is what the tofu is going to go into. Okay, this is just coming up to a simmer, so I'm going to turn that right down, turn this on, fire that up, and then fry the tofu. So I've also got sushi vinegar, proper sushi vinegar. So if you don't have sushi vinegar, you'd get normal um, rice vinegar, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of, of sugar, heat it up, and then you put that in your rice. Having the sushi vinegar is really easy because it's already done for you to the right measurements. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more mushroom soy in here. And a little bit more um, sesame. Because I was a little bit exuberant with the lemon. Right. So I'm just turning these over and this makes quite a nice, you can't really see it, but it makes a really nice little crust on, on here. And then we will, as soon as I've done all sides, I'm going to put it into the marinade. Just trying to do all the sides here. Is that awesome? So you can't see really but you can hear that sort of crust okay so now that this is nice and hot I'm going to chuck this into the marinade 
for to soak all of this beautiful flavor up. And then I'm just going to leave it in there actually until I'm ready for it. Turning them every now and then. I'm just going to make the same sort of thing. In fact, exactly the same sort of thing. Because I'm going to pickle these mushrooms a little bit. Um, which is really nice to go with the inside the sushi. But I'm going to use a vinegar instead of lemon juice for this. So they're the mushrooms in this little pickling mixture. I'm just going to check this rice out. All the water is pretty much gone. Right, so rice has gone into a shallow bowl. All the water has been absorbed. And then I'm going to now mix. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to pour on some sushi vinegar. And then I'm going to get a spoon and turn this over. So what you should do now is have a big fan and dry your your rice and cool it as fast as possible so I don't have a big fan don't even know what I could use so sort of this sort of thing you want to be really purist about it So what I usually do is I usually like put this in a cool place like outside, especially now that it's winter. The work. But it needs to be cold because otherwise it's going to make your nori all, you know, wet and horrible, like a soggy blanket. I'm just going to show you quickly how I'm going to prep the carrots and the cucumbers. So I just want little buttons like this. And I always make too many carrots. So I'm just doing one carrot now. So get everything prepared before you do make it because obviously it once this is this is all the, the really hard stuff to do or the time the time consuming stuff I like lots of avos, so I'm going to do one and a half avos. There we go. Just doing a few more mushrooms. And the, I'm using these beautiful chestnut mushrooms because they're quite a bit firmer. Um, you can do, for this vegan sushi, you can use whatever you like in here. I sometimes do um, tomatoes, which have been marinated in soy and stuff, uh, which is, and then carrots, which have been done in, in marinated. You can use little bits. I, I sometimes do things like bean sprouts, things that are not traditional, but you can use a lot of different veggies in your sushi because it's uh, vegan after all. So, and if you are, are not vegan and you want to do fish, go for it. I mean, if you can't get sashimi fish, then use smoked trout or smoked salmon in, in here. So these mushrooms are now very nice. I'm going to take them out now and I'm going to put them on here. So it's just a light pickling here 
And then I'm just going to add the rest of this marinade to the tofu. There we go. Give this another toss. This is still warm. I cannot explain to you how utterly delicious this is. It is a surprising thing because people usually loathe tofu. I mean, I know many vegans who will eat it because they, you know, it's part of their diet, but who are not mad about it. This is a different thing altogether. The way it absorbs that flavor and the texture of it because it's got this lovely little sort of coating on it. It really is delicious. Yeah, you must try that. I mean, it makes it all worth it. Right, so the rice is cool. I've got a bowl of water for my hands. I'm going to put my nori down, shiny side out. And then I'm going to take some rice. Then I'm going to wet my hands because it is sticky as hell. And then I'm just going to smear this before it sticks too much to three quarters I do it three quarters so you can do it right to the edge if you want I just find it much easier to do it three quarters and of course I don't have a my mat anymore I gave up using a mat years ago so I just do it freehand so it won't be as perfect as somebody who uses a mat right now we've got the rice down going to build with the tofu. And then we're going to get some of all of this. Cucumber, carrots, some of these mushrooms, and then some avo. So there we go. Now we're going to try and roll it. When you get to this part, just get a bit of water, run your finger down it, it just helps it to seal nicely. So now if you want to get a better shape, This is what your mat would be doing. And there you go. You've got your sushi roll, which we will set aside and then we will cut a bit later on. So you can now sprinkle this with sesame seeds, and all sorts of things, you know. Um, you can do an inside out one with rice on the outside. I'm just going to do these ordinary ones. Right. This is tofu. And carrots. Cucumber. And these mushies, some avo. Shove that back inside. Try to make it a bit neater. Don't worry about these bits, you know, sticking out the side. That's absolutely fine. So 
So when my daughter Ashlyn is home, I end up making this like, oh my God, all the time. Because her and her friend Michaela, between the two of them, they can eat me out of house and home with sushi. And it is a really easy thing to do. And it's so nice because, it, you know, not everyone can get vegan sushi or afford to buy sushi all the time. But it's always nice to be able to make these things yourself, you know? Know what goes into it, and then it's satisfying somehow. And it, it doesn't take long to do. I mean, it might take you a bit of time the first time, or first few times you do it, but it really, it, it, it's really quick once you get going and have done it for a while. So usually I would vary it, you know, with, if I've got guests with bean sprouts and, you know, you could do prawns or you can even do teriyaki chicken in here, uh, all sorts of things. So I've done making them, um, it made six rolls, one roll I've just given to two nice chaps who uh, were, came to collect something um, and this one I've set up for you to see what it looks like uh, once it's cut up. So there we go, this is um, proper wasabi, it is phenomenally hot and then I'm using mushroom soy because I'm really into that at the moment and it's quite nice as a change for, for sushi. So, vegan sushi, a lot of people be missing sushi, I should have done this ages ago, but there we have the final one and it's not, it's not a disaster like yesterday, bye. <laughs>